the. Uh... But however, imagine uh, an example. If 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 a, if a girl right now here would have a nine years old, would any any member of male would marry it and have sex with a nine years old right now? Okay, you know even the the term used in having sex. Like, would you say my father was having a sex? Consumption well, my, why of the my, No, 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 okay. Like no, 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 that's what I'm saying, you know, play, using words. I know this word because would you not be, would you be happy to come to you and say, so your father has to have any sex with your mother when he's 30? And just having sex, sex? So, according to your marriage, only sex. You say, ask, what was the marriage? Would you allow? Consumption. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. And now, historically speaking, okay, so, okay my yeah. grandmother actually got married when she was eight. Okay. All right? Notice my grandmother. The, 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 the Richard II of England, he got married to Isabella, she was six years old. And how old six was he? Years old? Yes, old yes, was yes, he? yeah. He was like 44 or something. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you show Brother, me where India. Yeah, yeah, can you show me where it's written? Let's have a look. Yeah. Six years old. Six years old. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get you the books there. To go I will to... be surprised. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? I'll you be should not be surprised, surprised, to be honest. You should not be surprised. If you study history, no, you should no, not be surprised. I would be, I would be. Because I said we we'll learn until we die. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt about that. But uh, what was the name of uh, uh, Abu Iyad's book? Uh, on the second paragraph. Okay, the brother gave me here. This one, this one in the 17th century, yeah? But it should be on a Google, isn't it? it no, 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 you know, Google is not... If you want to do pro proper research, That's Google is... No, 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 proper research, you still have to buy books. Not all books. That was written, uh, trust me, many people they think if I want to do proper research I'll go to Google. That is the wrong way. To do proper research... Just research into the issue. Go to the books. That's yeah, very get the good. books. I trust me. Yeah. Which, which one is uh, in the uh, in the 7th century? England yeah. marriage and sexual morals played? Which one? Look, or, or they just serve... Hey, 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 hey. It was possible for two people to marry very young. The minimum legal age was 12 years old for women and 14 years old for men. In addition, it was possible for the couple six, six, to get engaged at the age, age of seven. seven. Age of seven? Yeah. Okay. With the right to, there's many, many. Like history, like I said to you, there's, uh, there's a book was written. Uh, I'm trying to get online. It was written by the British, the British, um, the Holy, I can't remember that. The, uh, not the historians. There is like a, uh, uh, you can go to UK government and it speaks about a history of marriage through like, like on government uh, uh, website, it, it tells you the history of marriage. So, for example, around the world, Do you know the book that I, 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 I had I always carried the book. I not will the, try. The, I will try to. Yeah. To, to find. You know, but I will tell you one thing to. to no, 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 to conclude something with. So you will never be able to speak, isn't it? No, no, I will speak, but I'm finished. No, my you point. will not let me speak. I will. Can if I? You, if you allow me to finish my point. Okay, finish your yeah, point. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I'm you going to finish your point? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to finish it. Okay, I'm saying, historically okay. speaking, if you study history of marriage, it was around the world, the age of seven, the age of nine, the age of ten, eleven. The reason we start getting, they start raising the age of marriage, because when you start getting the children, the boys and the girls to go to school and work. That's why before, remember before there was no, there was no, uh, what do they call it, nursery. So my question school. would be, yeah. that history that you read it, that yeah. you about the... I can't remember the book, Abu Iyad, you're good. That, that, one, that part that you see six and the gentleman was the, the king or whatever, was 14, so let me yeah. just read. Yeah. Would you agree with it? That? that makes sense to you? Yeah, because my grandmother was married at the age of eight. My grandfather was 20-something. And they had many children, but none of her children died. She had over 10 children. And do you think to that age they had morally power to decide? Forget back then. No, I take you back Forget to Algeria. Forget about that, but I can't. No, 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 if I take you back to Algeria now, oh there's many boys at the age of 9 10, they're mature, then the people here are 25. Do you, do you think but why? Even India, come on, man. India, Pakistan, okay, they, they have to go to work at the age of 8 and 9 I to provide. Do you, do you think Algeria is, is the best, is the best uh, country to give an example? Yes, my, my country is the best country to give an example. You think? Okay. Well, which, which country should we follow? So, so do, do you. No, do which country should we follow? No, but you told me in Algeria is the best country the to give an example. Was about the maturity. That's the video. Ah, here we go. I have the book for you. What? The book. What does that make me? I know what is right and what is wrong. No, I'm not woman, but, woman. But what you ask here, the difference here. This is the book. The book here. I'll show you. I'll show you the quote. Let, let me get the quote for you, yeah? About the age of marriage, what yeah? Is the, what is the source of this? Yeah, I'm going to get the book now. I'm going to get you the source. I'll show you. Uh, 
puberty and marriage. All right. Age of consent throughout history has usually coincided with the age of puberty. Although at some times it has been at early as seven, early on age of consent. I can't go on. Age of consent. Consent means they're married. That's what age of consent means. Yeah, but I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about what's going to happen after. So if I'm allowed to marry at the age of seven, what's going to happen after has nothing to do with it. The point here is. No, 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 no. No, no, hear me, hear me out. The age of consent. No, no, here, the source. I want to give you the source. Here, the source. Can I ask you something? Do you know anatomy? Do you know anatomy? I want to give you the source. No, you ask for the source. No, I don't know. Explain that to me, know. please. No, I don't so know. So it's no point to talk to you then. Yeah, okay. I'm a physiotherapist. I've studied. Ah, come on, man. Yes. Physiotherapy. Yes. That's arrogance, to be honest, you know. Do you know why? Because I went to physiotherapy. They told me many, they gave me many advice, and they were wrong. Okay. So what does that mean? You so, make you right? No, physiotherapy. Ah, uh, brothers, is it known? You got physiotherapy. It's wasting your time. Do you know what? That's, Bro, that's it. That's, that's, know, that's, that's, called, that's the, called argument of authority. Do you, do you know what? No, no. That yeah, proves, because... That proves that you will not be able to listen what I have to say. You are you're not, therapist, but yeah. you are not a biologist. Why are you talking about... No, I understand. Talking about, you're, 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 you're talking about so different than, than course, what you're talking about. Yeah, like you, like you did to him. You did same. Because six years old, six years old, six years old, That's what your biblical God did. Six years old. That's almost your argument now. No woman... Yeah. Is have achieved the, the real the real moment to have sex after. Yeah, okay. sure. They're not six years old. We're not talking about six. No, 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 six. Six, six years old is a child. Yeah. He is yes. a child. She's a child, yeah. If anyone yeah. wants yeah, so, to okay. believe Who's talking about six years old? Wants to believe that six years old is the consent of age, that's the bullshit. Yeah, you're right, we agree. We agree. No, we agree with that, we agree with that. That's why Bossam got married at the age of oh, nine. So you agree that we now, right now, we can manage every six years old. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. You yes. said age of six is still child. I agree. What? I agree. The age of surprise. Thank you. Yeah. Agree. But no one disagrees. Yes. No one disagrees. Thank you very much. But no one disagrees. Okay, okay. Bossam never got married at the age of six anyway. Okay, okay. Where's your point? Anyway, you know, you know why? That's why, you know, she was accusing me. I'm not going to let her speak. But you know what? She was not even listening. Because we agree, that's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu never got married to her at the age of six. That's why he came to her parents and they got the age of six mean engagement and he got married at the age of nine. Historically speaking, anyone try to tell you that his age of marriage is wrong, then no, he's been enslaved by the British culture of our time. Because if you study history, in Britain, America, around the world, they used to get married at the age very, very young. You understand? Go back to you. Listen, don't be, you know what they say? If you speak three languages, who are you? A wise man. If you speak two languages, you are a smart man. If you speak one language, English man. You understand? That's what they say, isn't it? So if you want to study history, that's the problem of English people. Not all of them, some of them, they do travel. And to be honest, those who travel around the world, they will tell you, I have no problem for age of marriage, because historically speaking, children or people differ from one country to another country. If my, in my country, Algeria or North Africa, Morocco, Tunisia, I was eight years old and I had my own business in the market. In this country, by law, that's a, crimin, that's a crime. When I came to the country when I was 16 and I found that at 16, they treat you as a child. I loved it because I knew what I was doing completely. You understand? Trust me, bro. So don't tell me that I, don't try to impose your culture on our countries. Simple, bro. You understand? And the worst thing here, you let the girl at the age of 9, 10, 11, she's allowed to have sex, no problem. But for marriage, now there's a problem. You understand? The hypocrisy. You understand? So that's why this raising the age of marriage, what it's doing is giving more options for, for the boys and the girls to have sex outside marriage, to have children. And what is the outcome of that? Look at our society. Majority of crimes has been carried out by children who have no parents. And what is the outcome of that? And go to the abortion hospitals. How many young girls are killing children? You see, because what I say, you're still young to get married, but you can open your legs for anyone else. That's it. Alhamdulillah.